The exquisite village of Hayden is located just northwest of Norwich and is isolated except from the entry road to its south. It is one of the very few English villages which are privately owned, in this case by the Bulwer Long family. Not since the erection of the commemorative Queen Victoria Well in 1887 has any new building been added to this village, and subsequently it has featured as a period setting in many movies and television programmes. The picturesque houses and cottages plus the 400 year old hall itself, designed by Henry Dine, lend a suitably old world feel to the surroundings. Firstly, I should like to note the film The Go-Between from 1971, featured also in my Hickling video, which utilises not only the village green, but Hayden's late medieval St Peter's and St Paul's Church. The film is a torrid tale of forbidden love, directed expertly by Joseph Losey, and starring Julie Christie and Alan Bates, along with an Oscar-nominated supporting role from Margaret Leighton. This is a highly regarded, richly detailed period piece about social turmoil, innocence lost and mixed affections, with British cinematographer Jerry Fisher's photography glowing and subdued in equal measure. Alan Bates clearly likes Hayden, because he also stars in this next film, the obscure John Paul Davison directed horror comedy The Grotesque from 1995, and its tagline Beneath the surface of respectability lies the shadow of our darker side. Not a bad film, with some suitably eerie music by Anne Dudley. This film is mostly notable for an early screen appearance by Game of Thrones' as Lena Headey, Teresa Russell giving possibly her best performance, and Sting showing off more than just his acting ability. The hall itself, among others including Blickling and Felbrigg, features in my next entry, 2005's convoluted period comedy drama, A Cock and Bull Story. Directed by Michael Winterbottom and starring Steve Coogan, Jeremy Northam and Rob Brydon, this is a story of actors and the size of their parts, among other things. A first class production, which just falls short of being a great film, definitely worth seeing even if, like I, you are not a fan of Coogan. Thank you for watching Hayden Village Part 1 and I hope you've enjoyed this slice of diversity.